Hi guys, today we're going to talk about coloring textures and blending color pencils. So what we're doing is we are finishing our concept cars. I pulled up some card sketches just off Google where I see some textures happening. I also see how they colored smooth um, metal. So what you're going to notice is you have a dark light and then a white streak and that's what gives it that shiny effect like we're looking at something that is metal. So um, when we go to color, we might want to try to capture some of those same moments. You also might see some textures like on the wheels or different parts of your car that you might want to be coloring dark light next to each other. When I color here, I've already kind of started. And what I did here was I chose three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. I chose this red, this orange, and then this light orange. And by coloring those on top of each other, they blend really, really nicely. Um, and then what I did for the shadow here was I added the opposite of those colors on the color wheel. So opposite of red is green. And what I did was I took my green and I kind of colored wherever I thought a shadow would be. If my sun was coming down this way, I would give this side of my car some realistic shadows. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of going back and forth with my two colors. And that's a good way to blend color pencils. Um, instead of just leaving them how they are. Now that I've colored this, I'm going to show you how I did this technique in some other parts of the car. So over here, if I'm going to color one of these in, I'm going to stick with these same colors. So you can see how it works. Uh, actually, I'm going to go with the dark colors, the grays, um, and the middle colors. So I start with my darkest color, and I do that around the edge of the beat. And I want this to look like this kind of shiny in the middle. So what I'm going to do, I want this to look a little bit of metal. I'm going to go really dark around the edges here. And then I'm going to leave a little bit of shine to it. So I'm going to leave some white. After I do my really dark, I'm going to do my medium gray. And then I'm going to leave some white in the middle. So now I've got my medium gray. And by coloring lightly on top of what I just did, it allows me to really blend these colors. And then leaving some white gives it that shiny effect, like I'm looking at metal. I can do the same technique on the other ones where I go dark to white. Now if you're coloring something a little bit bigger, like this shape or this shape, or let's go ahead and color one of these bubbles in. I'm going to color these blue because I want them to look almost as if they are glass. So what I'm going to do is take a few of my different blue colors and show you how I did the same technique here on those bubbles. So I've got my darkest blue I'm going to use around the edges. And I'm going to leave it a little highlight like I've already drawn to show that it is um, glass we're looking at. You can even leave a little white around the edges to make it look as if it's glass. So I'm going very dark. And then I'm going to lightly kind of color lighter blue. And as I go in, I'm coloring dark and then I'm lightly bringing my pencil off the paper. And what that causes is a moment where your pencils can actually blend. So coloring light on light helps them blend a lot easier. And then I'm going to take my lightest color, and I'm actually not even going to use that blue. I'm going to use white to kind of do the final blending here. And you can work back and forth. If there's places you don't think blend it good, you can kind of go back and add those. So I'm going to go back and just add this dark edge here. So I've got dark to medium blue to my latest blue. And what that creates is those moments that your color pencil is blending with each other. And anything that I have inside of mine, I can, I can still color in, but lightly, so that it looks as if it's kind of behind that glass. So I still add a little color to what's in there. And so that's how you can make um, your coloring dark, medium to light. 
I can show you again with this turtle here. I can choose some different greens and do the same thing where I've got my darkest green around the edges of my turtle. And then I slowly bring my pencil up. I'm doing all the darks first around the edges. And then I'm going to do some medium, some light coloring to allow for the blending to happen. So now I've got my next green. I'm going to color on top of that. And I forgot to do the darks on this bottom. And then I'm going to have my final light, blonde, light color. Kind of hit the edges and the middles. And that makes it look a lot more realistic. All right, good luck with your coloring.